Hello folks, welcome back. Okay, that's good. So, we finally made it to the flower fields. So, time to explore them for a bit. All right. Dilute Salty Haunt Chameleon. Okay. And an ice frog. Let's not get frozen. And the bear. Hurkhound. It's friendly, actually. Okay. And the Hurkhound killed the, the ray cat. I think. Oops. Um, yeah. That's it. That's you know, the thing that auto-exploring kind of does is kind of lets you run around a lot that you probably usually wouldn't do so you, so you actually spend a lot more turns but that's not too bad in this game so it doesn't really matter okay there's some fresh water let's fill up one canteen You know what? Let's just collect a bit. I think I turned auto pickup of water off at some point. Because it can get a hassle, but, uh, you know, oh, that's enough. Okay. Zip. Zip. Alright. And meow. Meow. Okay, there we go. Let's see. Uh huh, Naftali's. Our first Naftali. Aha, uh -huh. Equimaxis. Good. Essentially translates to free experience. Alright, stunned for the turn. Stop doing that. Okay, good. And rest back up. Ogre Ape Heart. Oh dear. Something or other happened here. Can you actually... I wonder... Is that... No. It does not count as fresh food. It's just food, but it doesn't weigh anything. But, uh... Hmm. Maybe you can just cook with it? No, you cannot. Hmm. Let's cook with cider and bear jerky now. Forgot what cider... Oh yeah, cider is quickness. Right. Yeah, cooking with cider is good. Should get... Whenever we get the opportunity to get cider, we should actually get it. Okay. Shard corpse. They can sell. That's nice. Okay. I think we're probably pretty close to getting to the jungle. Are we in the jungle already? No, we're not. Oops. Yeah. That's a ruin. So this is actually flower fields, yeah, it's just uh, weird because of the ruin thing. Okay, there's some more of that. I definitely need to get my hands on... Okay, weird artifact. Can't wait hand bones. Oh, that's for your fists. Hmm, it weighs 15. Another inflatable accent. That's a bit too heavy. I'm not going to use my fists anytime soon, but that's actually, that would be an interesting build. Small trinket. That's a chem cell. Uh, a solar cell. Okay. I wanted to say a chem cell of sorts, but... Uh, obviously not a chem cell, a different cell. 
a cell of sorts, rather. Okay. Well, let's explore the ruins for a bit, I guess. Lots of witch wood around here. Yeah, I definitely need to get some credit chips. <sighs> Pretty scarce so far, but uh, you know, maybe when, once we start doing some more, like, more underground stuff, we might find some more, like, down in the... in the ruins, caves, and so on. That might actually... Uh, that might get us some more stuff. I'm gonna see. Clay vase, woven basket... All of these are empty. Everything is empty here. Oops. Nothing else to explore, and no stairways. That's just a bit of cybernetics here. Okay. Now we're in the jungle. Okay. Let's, uh... Yeah, we need to... Be kind of careful here. Because... I want to find myself murdered by a... Boss group of something. So that goes quick. If you're not careful. Interestingly enough, there are some glow white cultists here. Carbide battle axe, steel gauntlets, okay. Oh, there are some more co glow whites. Interesting. What are you doing here, huh? Peeps, what are you doing? Ah, there's a good folk village here. Okay, this could be dangerous, so... Okay. We're pretty good in melee, so that is... Like, if we can get close to them, that will work out. Disassemble. Yeah, and what is this? Electro bow. Electro bow is actually pretty sweet. 10 1d6. That's 11 1d8. So our sniper rifle is actually better than the electro bow. You know, we have bows and rifle. That's the same skill. So we can actually use that. And now starts the disassembly of desert rifles. Yeah, we can start disassembling once we got a few. Let's bash our way in here. All right. Okay. Let's take them apart. Still have. A, why do I have a steel longsword? Let's drop that for now. Desert Rifle. Disassemble. Disassemble. Oops. Disassemble. Good. Yeah, another one. Another Desert Rifle. Alright. Also, obviously now, <coughs> Those good folks give us a bunch of experience. So, um... Yeah. That's a level up. Alright. So... That's gonna go into dual wield. So, yes. That we have this. Flurry's cooldown is... Reduced by 10, so we have a cooldown of 50. What do I have Flurry on? It's 3, okay. Mark target is V. I need to use that stuff more. <laughs> and one and two is lunge and swipe. Okay. Great artifact, flashbang grenade. Let's take that apart. All right. Another desert rifle, and that's that. Good. Man, we have a lot of books. Right, all right. All right. 
Come on. Uh, there are hostiles nearby. A uh, bunch of Naftalis. Or oh, one Naftali, rather. Still hostile. Yeah, come on. Yes, now. Now we can, we can go ahead. Whip up a meal. You eat the meal. And uh, yeah, let's start going north till we can get to Gridgate. Shit. Yeah, this is dangerous. Someone threw a grenade. That was probably one of the Naftalis. You know, there was like a thermal grenade. It wasn't just the 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 seeds from the sewers. Speaking of which, we need to pick up a bunch of those. Okay. All right. Um. Yeah. Oh fuck, this could be a boss group. There's so many at once. Oh. Alright. Okay, no sewer seeds. Okay, I already threw them all. You folks. Oops, that's another sewer. Alright, let's get those seeds. Another rifle guy. Oops. Jeez. Jeez, 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 jeez. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, fuck. And I hurt a lot. Rest up. Okay. I'm going to take... I'm not going to take them on. <laughs> so I'm going to take the way around. You know, like normal good folk here in the jungle. That's okay. I'm not gonna mess with... Major Tom. <laughs> with uh, actual boss groups. Because uh, that can be deadly. It can be deadly even for a character that is much farther than I am. That is much higher level, that is. Okay, I think we probably picked up another few desert rifles, didn't we? Yes, we did. Disassemble. Disassemble. There we go. Silver nugget. Yeah, gonna get that. Alright, alright. Okay, that's another sewer. Okay, you are fighting each other down here. There's three relatively dangerous things at once. But at least I got help by that ogre ape. Elastine Skullcap. That's good. Um, yep. Plus 25 cold resist. I think our Visor Nova and Skull is the same. Plus one Eagle. Yeah, for now. I could, like, make the, the Skullcap Visored, though. Why can't I mod anymore? It's just these. Like the... Maybe we need more tinkering skill for that? I'm not really sure. Okay, I need AI microcontrollers to make this counterweighted. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't know. Whatever. Okay. 
We got Naftali group. Yeah, right now, still get a bit of experience from those, so... Not actually the worst idea. Killing all of them. Okay. And more good folk. Yourself up. Yeah, these guys are still super dangerous. I need to be more careful with that steel plate mail. Jeez. Okay. Where are we? Yeah, we're getting close to grid gate. More jungle. Means more Naftalis. Ah, the jungle is not really all that interesting to travel through, isn't it? Okay, there's a bunch of scrap here. I think you can actually collect that with Auto Explore. Seekers of the Sightless Way. Painted ring mail. Have a look at that. Okay, Stain Dicker Oroxashir Gift. It's a floating orb. Uh-huh, interesting. And we have a lot of like we have a lot of hun uh, hints on on items. Electrified fullerite mall. Jesus Christ. That thing is probably super heavy, isn't it? What does it weigh? Yeah, well. Let's just take this chem cell out for now. More honey? We're actually pretty good on honey already. Is there a boss around here? Are you a boss? These are just Barathrum. Ah, you! Okay. <laughs> Water ritual with oil, indeed. We cannot do that, actually, but... Uh, what do you have? Item mod sharp. That was... What was sharp? That is, we actually have that on our weapon, but uh, plus one bonus to armor penetration. That's actually kind of good. I'm going to get that. Desert rifle that we don't really need. Uh, is there any scrap with anything good? This, actually. Mm hmm. Not impenetrable mess. Oh, that's a book. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was. Okay, interesting. Um, okay, alright. Let's see. Let's get rid of all of these. And the beaded bracelet. And that's already enough. Yeah. Trade complete. Okay. We don't have any oil to be in the water ritual. Yeah, right. Um. Okay, so let's learn that thing. Fuller right more. Jesus Christ, just laying around here. The reason I'm not picking it up is because those things are super heavy. I remember that from my cultural character. Lugging that thing around is crazy. Strange. Okay, that's an. Oh, that's a missile launcher. Okay. Well, let's disassemble that thing. I don't think we're going to use it. I think it's a heavy weapon. Let's so we get some pristine electronics out of it. Segmented mirthworm. Ah, uh, these things. Pretty easy to kill. 
right now. Okay. Okay, we need to eat. But the, oh shit, we're famished, but cannot actually. Now we can. All right, you eat the meal. You are sated. Yes, go down. What the hell was that? What the hell are you? Oily ab albino ape, okay. Stun rod with no cell, but uh, I'm not interested in the stun rod. I'm interested in taking that stun rod apart. So, disassemblos. There we go. Unfortunately, no way of extracting that oil from the Okay, chem cell, yeah. <laughs> from the ogre ape, or the albino ape, rather. Okay, that way droid actually dropped a... Uh... A chem cell, so destroying these might actually make sense. There's a spark tick corpse. drop that again but uh, you know I think that would have been something we needed for um, for the anti-fungus thing last time but this time probably going to be something else so uh, not much sense in picking it up but uh, you know it's pretty rare that these things drop corpses shit slumbling See if we can actually take it out. Yes, we can. No problem, actually. All right. Yeah, slumberlings are not that dangerous. They're dangerous at the start, but they lose their threat at this stage. Let's do some more auto exploration. Yeah, auto exploration is super convenient. Oh, hello. Especially because it automatically picks up all the scrap that lies around and disassembles it and uh, opens chests and all this, all this stuff. Novice of the Cypress Way. What are you guys doing here? What the hell are you guys doing here? Okay, droid stops bleeding. What? Oops, okay. I just deactivated my numb lock accidentally. <laughs> no, everything stopped working. Why can't I do anything anymore? Numb lock. The natural enemy of the rogue liker. The liker of rogues. The droid scrambler can just kill them and they won't do anything. Bend metal sheet. Disassemble. Oh, the spark ticks. Jeez. So much crap here. Jesus. Alright. Oops, there was another slug snout directly next to us. Um, chem cell and a burnt capacitor. Fractured microchip. Alright, cracked lens. Good bit of scrap here. Steel short sword, not really all that interested in that, but you know. Aha. The scrap room here. Oh, well, let's go on a disassembly bend. All right. Oops, I destroyed a fractured microchip. That was ill-advised. Okay. Electrofuge. Another seeker. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Get kind of mind sundered here. Flaming. 
Yes, it has a fresh chem cell in it. All right. Okay, that's that. Let's go down. Let's see. How long have I been recording? Oh, way too long. We need to stop this. Okay, let's just sweep up around here. And uh, yeah, that's good. All right. Thank you for watching and see you again next time. Bye bye.